as a result of Autodesk buying HSM Works a few years ago, recently I've had the pleasure of um, working with SolidWorks a bit. Now, it's been fun learning about the product and seeing uh, what all the fanboys have been banging on about for all this time. Um, and it is, you know, it is a nice product. Um, I still prefer Inventor, um, but I can also see some commands in here that are um, would be beneficial in Inventor, that's for sure. Um, there are areas of Inventor that are better as well. So, you know, it swings in roundabouts. But um, this particular issue I came across the other day, um, I was doing some five axis toolpathing and um, there was some there was some odd odd things happening with the toolpath. I, I could see that um, there was a step being made here, and that same step existed over here. But when when the code was outputted, um, I was getting a weird gouging effect in the corner here. And I think I've I've uh, narrowed it down to um, a, a modelling problem. So if I try and offset this surface here, uh, I can see it's turning itself inside out. Um, which which isn't ideal um, and although that doesn't match exactly what's happening with the toolpath um, it does give me an indication that there's something up here and, and during the post process it's getting getting itself confused trying to figure out what geometry it should be uh, offsetting to generate the toolpath so from that um, and talking uh, talking through it with some of the guys in the Autodesk CAM team decided uh, a suggestion was made rather to to try and put a fillet in here and I wasn't you know I wasn't that confident that any CAD system really could um, put a fillet in here it, there's a weird situation where you've got a tangential um, the the curve coming down to the line here is tangential on this side, but um, it's not tangential on the other side. Um, it's just it's just a weird little surface. So anyway, I thought I'd give it a go, and um, using my newfound SolidWorks skills. Are you ready for this? It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to go for a constant size fillet. Let's select that edge, um, and 10 mil. It's not doing anything. So We'll try for um, seven mil, nothing. Five mil. Oh, it can do a five mil one. How about a six mil one? No. Well, the tool radius I'm using is um, the tool diameter I'm using is eight mil. So I'll use a four mil radius in here and see what happens. So I'm getting a preview. I can see there's something weird going on here, but I'll commit the filler anyway and see what the resulting geometry looks like. And sure enough, the preview was right, um, and SolidWorks has filleted it, but it's created these rather unuseful faces. And it's weird, sort of pointy edges to the faces in here. So it's you know it's not ideal, um, and it's not really going to do the job for me here. So I just thought I'd give it a whirl in Inventor and see how uh, and see how she handles it. So swinging over to Inventor, and this is where. Uh, Again, I really didn't think that um, any CAD system could uh, could do this, and I'm sure you know where I'm going with this by now. I select that fillet. I'm going to set it to four mils, and I can even choose to make it G2 continuous. Curvature. Oh, sorry, didn't really want to log into Vault, and. It's done it beautifully. Now, this surprised me because I really thought that, um, given the reputation SolidWorks has got for surfacing, that it would have been able to lap up anything that Inventor could do with filleting. Um, and that appears to not be the case. So yeah, um, kudos to the Autodesk um, Inventor development team. Um, in the last couple of releases, they have definitely made filleting more robust. Um, and I haven't tried this in Inventor 2014, but in 2015, Inventor just got one over SolidWorks. Um, it doesn't actually solve my, my geometry problem, um, because let's see, I'll show you in here if I thicken and offset <clears throat> this surface here by the same amount of 10 mils in the other cat in, in SolidWorks, it's still doing something strange in the corner here. Um, and so I can select the other surface and you can see it's actually inverting itself back and there's funny little 
um, returns in here. So, yeah, I'm going to have to investigate what's going on there from a CAM perspective. But there you go. Inventor can fill it that, and SolidWorks can't. Cheers, and uh, have a good day.